Hi Monster High fans and parents of Monster High fans. I, in this video, am going to be reviewing a very special doll, Skelita Calaveras, and I will also be doing a few shout outs at the end. Skelita is a very unique doll because she is one of the first exchange students who came to Monster High, and she first was in the movie Scaris, in which Claudine had to travel to Scaris to compete for the position of Monatella Gostier's apprentice, if you guys remember. And Skelita is one of the contestants in that competition. So she's a very talented fashion designer. Her personality is also very sweet. She loves her family and they provide her inspiration. Um, what I really like about this doll is, and, and the whole branching out of Monster High into um, this doll is that they're being really encompassing of other cultures and clearly Skelita is from Mexican culture. Her last name Calaveras I think even means skulls and they made her really really beautiful and she's a full-on skeleton as I'll show you but um, I love her big soulful brown eyes and I love that um, sugar skull design that she has on her face and I love the orange stripes in her hair that are in the front and right out of the box you can see that they are curled very nicely and it's even held there in place by a rubber band and she has a partial ponytail in the back of her hair which gives her hair some nice height and here on this side it's also curled it's also very stiff and held in place by hairspray and I don't think I'll be boil washing her hair because I don't want to lose that beautiful waviness. And then she's wearing um, a very cute outfit and uh, she's got a necklace on, a black halter top, a leather belt, and this skirt that has those Mexican Amor flags. I think they're called Papel Picado. Please forgive my Spanish. And her shoes are like um, those Mexican leather sandals that I, you know, I think they're called Huaraches. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong again, um, but they are lime green and very cute. And she comes with this very unique suitcase with a sugar skull design on the front. And when you open it up, you can see these compartments. So it's very like a real suitcase and the handle goes up and down. And also I just noticed on the back, the handle, the back of the suitcase looks like a spine. See the vertebrae and the handle goes up and down. So I like how they worked that detail into the suitcase as well. And the doll herself is a full out skeleton. I think Mattel was very brave to do this. You can see all of her bones. Um, there's no disguising them. In the legs you see her femur and her tibia. Is that what those are called? And I just think that's really pretty cool that Mattel dared to make her a full out skeleton. Um, and they made her somehow beautiful. And I was reading an article about uh, an interview with a designer and she was saying that the halter top, the black halter top she's wearing has this floral design that's supposed to be reminiscent of the marigolds that they place on the altars when they honor the dead in the Day of the Dead. It's a holiday about honoring those that you've lost who are no longer with us that you still love. And of course she wears a very special necklace. And I want to show you from behind, that is a full-on um, skeleton. You can see her, her, her backbone and her rib cage. And, and um, what they did was they, in order to make the outfit fit right, they put a piece of plastic over the front. Can you guys see? I'm pressing on a piece of plastic. So it makes the halter top fit nicely, but what it does do is make it a little bit hard to fit the doll into her stand. So she has to go in sideways into her stand, see? That's the one thing I think that they didn't really think through about this doll, <laughs> which I find interesting. The other thing I find interesting is that these legs don't, um, they don't bend the way the other doll's legs bend. You can't really bend her at the knees. The diary has a picture of her family and Skelita is all about her family. And when you read it, it's not a lot of information about her. 
It's about her her sketches and her designing for her friends Quinceañera and then of course the upcoming Day of the Dead holiday. One thing that you find out is that she has this ability to feel things um, she feels in her bones that important things are going to happen. So she gets these premonitions. I thought that was very clever because it's a play on the I feel it in my bones idea. And so I really think that if your child wants to get a Scalita doll, that you should get one for her because it embraces Mexican culture, it exposes them to that, and I think that's very educational and very worthwhile. I really like this doll. I think she's one of the, the most unique dolls. There are just a couple things that um, I wish were different, like she could fit into her, st her stand from the front and that her legs bent a little bit more. But other than that, I think she's fantastic. Or I guess I should say fantastic. And now it's time for a couple shout outs. First, I wanna give a shout out to Kate Pine and uh, then to Monster High 24. And also to Jackie Martinez again, because you specifically asked me about Skelita. And thanks for watching as usual, and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>